Hi friends, hope you all are having an awesome day. Today I want to talk to you about a bunch of leaks that have been popping up everywhere. Some that I honestly could see happening, some that I can't. And these are all for events that, well, one event we do know that is happening and that's Tokyo Game Show. Technically the Nintendo Direct we know is coming but hasn't been officially announced so we kind of aren't supposed to know that it's coming. So it is what it is. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up. Likes are free after all. And if you wanna stay up to date, subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, I have to talk about It Takes Two finally coming onto the Nintendo Switch. For those of you that have never played It Takes Two, there's a reason why it won GOATI over at the Game Awards 2021. Honestly, the gameplay feels phenomenal. There's constantly new mechanics that are being introduced. Things are constantly changing, so you have to adapt continuously. And overall, phenomenal voice acting, phenomenal writing. It's just, it's just a good game. You gotta play it. And if you haven't played it, it feels like it would fit right onto the Nintendo Switch. Seeing as how you have two Joy-Cons to just play whenever you're ready to go, it just feels right at home on that console. So if you haven't played it, you might wanna wait for it to come out onto the Nintendo Switch because it'll just be perfect. The only thing that I hope for is that graphically, maybe it'll keep up with the other platforms that are out there. The next thing that I wanna go ahead and talk to you about is apparently Konami is publishing a Silent Hill 2 remake and it is being developed by Bloober Team. Now we've heard Silent Hill 2 rumors in the past. That's not anything new. It just, in the past, every single time that something like this has popped up, it's essentially been more of Konami releasing either merch or a pachinko machine or maybe some mobile game crossover, whatever it may be, that has to deal with these franchises. We haven't actually gotten a full on game in a very, very long time. And I'm not counting Metal Gear Survive. Silent Hills was really the last iteration, the last possibility of something great happening with the Silent Hill franchise. And that obviously went to Pupu Kachu the moment that Kojima left Konami, rightfully so. I totally understand where he's coming from, especially based off of what I've heard. But once he left, that was it. Everything else in the project dissolved and it just didn't really do anything. Apparently Konami has signed a one year deal with PlayStation in order to make it a console exclusive on the PlayStation for the first year after its release. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that stuff. I don't like console exclusives. I would rather have as many gamers play and experience these games as possible. But as we all know, Konami likes money. So I don't put it past them when it comes to that. The other thing that I wanna go ahead and talk to you about is that apparently Konami has renewed their trademark for Suikoden, which for those of you that have not played it, it is apparently one of the best, if not the best JRPGs that came out at its time. I have not played it personally. I do own Suikoden 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 3, both digitally. I just, I had to buy it. People hyped me up about the game on our Discord, which links down below if you wanna go ahead and join in. But I was really excited to go ahead and jump into this game. And overall, I haven't had a chance to play it. I know that I should. And if they're renewing their trademark, maybe there's going to be a remake. Maybe there's something that is going to be announced not only for Silent Hill 2, but as well as we could in maybe one and two at TGS. I can definitely see it takes two coming out onto the Nintendo Switch, but with Konami, I'm a little bit wary, especially with TGS and everything that's happening. I just, I don't really trust Konami in the grand scheme of things. They just always seem a little bit <laughs> when it comes to stuff. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below, whether or not it takes two is something that you're hyped for. Silent Hill 2 remake is something that you're looking forward to, or if you've even played Tsukoda, and if you even know what it is, let me know. Until next time, guys, peace.